Remember when a dollar could fill your cart to the brim? Ah, the good times we had. Well, gather around as I'll be taking you back to the good old days when life was simpler and grocery shopping was an experience all its own. Starting out with A&P. A&P, or the Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company, was a beloved and popular grocery store chain. Back in the day, A&P had numerous branches spread across towns and cities all across America. What made it so popular was its pioneering approach to grocery shopping. A&P was known for offering quality products at affordable prices. They revolutionized the grocery industry by introducing self-service shopping, which meant customers could pick their own items from the shelves rather than relying on a clerk. The shopping experience was quite different from what you see today. AMP stores were smaller and cozier, and they had a distinctive design. You'd walk through the store selecting items from neatly organized shelves. The stores had their own brand of products like coffee and canned goods, which were often cheaper than other brands. But my dears, as times changed, so did the grocery industry. AMP struggled to keep up with larger, modern supermarkets supermarkets and competition from other grocery chains. The company faced financial difficulties and eventually filed for bankruptcy, leading to the closure of many of its stores. So while AMP may be a thing of the past, it's important to remember its role in shaping the way we shop for groceries today. It was a place where families gathered to find quality products at affordable prices, and it left a lasting legacy in the history of American grocery stores. Cash and Care Back in the day, it was a popular place for families to shop. Cash and Carry had quite a few branches, and people loved it for several reasons. Firstly, it was known for its budget-friendly prices and a wide range of products. Families flocked to Cash and Carry because it helped them stretch their budgets while still getting quality groceries. The stores had everything from fresh produce to household goods. The shopping experience was unique, too. You'd enter the store, and the first thing you'd notice was the distinctive blue and yellow logo. Inside, it felt like a welcoming neighborhood store. You could stroll through the aisles, and they even had a section where you could scoop your own nuts, grains, and candies into bags. A real treat. But as time went by, the grocery industry changed. In 1996, Cash and Carry was bought by Lucky Store, a larger grocery chain, and the transition wasn't easy. And while Lucky Stores tried to maintain the Cash and Carry name, the stores started to lose some of their charm. Eventually, Cash and Carry had to close its doors. The competition from bigger supermarkets and the changing landscape of the grocery business made it tough for the old neighborhood stores to survive. The last Cash and Carry store closed in 2007. Although Cash and Carry is a thing of the past, it's fondly remembered as a place where families shop together and found good deals. Its legacy lives on in the memories of those who cherished it. Alpha Beta. Alpha Beta was all the rage. It had numerous branches, not just in California, but also in other states. People loved it for several reasons. Firstly, Alpha Beta was known for its friendly and helpful staff. Shopping there felt like visiting a neighbor. They'd greet you with a smile and assist you with anything you needed. The stores were always clean and well organized, making it a pleasant place to shop. In 1979, Alpha Beta faced a big change when it was taken over by a company called American Stores Company. This marked a new era for the store as it went through various transformations. Then in 1994, Alpha Beta merged with another popular grocery chain, Lucky Stores, forming a superstore called Lucky Alpha Beta. This merger created a more extensive network of supermarkets offering a wider range of products and services. Sadly, as time passed, the grocery industry changed. Larger chains like Walmart and Costco became dormant, and smaller stores like Alpha Beta struggled to keep up. Eventually, in the late 1990s, all the Alpha Beta stores were rebranded and renamed Mar marking the end of an era. So that's the story of Alpha Beta, a once-loved grocery store that captured the hearts of many but couldn't withstand the winds of change in the grocery business. But remember, the memories of shopping there will forever stay in the hearts of those who experienced it. 
White Hen Pantry. Back in the day, it was a neighborhood favorite. White Pen Pantry had numerous branches scattered across the Midwest and East Coast, offering a unique shopping experience. People loved it for its cozy and convenient locations. These stores were like little community hubs where you could pick up not only groceries, but also fresh sandwiches, coffee, and snacks. It was a place to chat with neighbors and feel part of the community. White Hen Pantry had its store in many towns and cities, making it easily accessible to folks. Their commitment to quality and customer service made them stand out. Shoppers trusted them for essentials and quick, friendly service. However, as the years went by, the grocery industry evolved and larger convenience store chains started dominating the market. White Hen Pantry faced tough competition and struggled to keep up. Eventually, in the early 2000s, it merged with 7-Eleven, a much larger convenience store chain. Attention all nostalgia seekers, this is Marshall checking in on Isle Memory Manor. If your viewing experience is up to your standard, if so, hold tight to your grocery carts and press the subscribe button before I take you to Dominic's. Ah, back in the day, Dominic's was a household name and people flocked to it for various reasons. Dominic's was incredibly popular because it offered a unique shopping experience. The stores were known for its wide selection of fresh produce, high-quality meats, and friendly staff. It felt like a trip to a bustling marketplace where you could find everything you needed. The staff at Dominic's was another reason why it was beloved. They knew their customers by name and were always ready to lend a hand. The store had a warm community feel that made people want to come back again and again. But as years passed, Dominic's faced some difficulties. One significant challenge was union labor problems. The store had labor disputes with its workers' unions, which led to strikes and disruptions. These conflicts made it harder for Dominic's to operate smoothly and maintain its reputation for exceptional service. Additionally, Dominic struggled to modernize in a rapidly changing grocery landscape. While other stores were introduced new technologies and expanding their offerings, Dominic's remained somewhat old-fashioned. They didn't keep up with the changing customer preferences and demands which affected their competitiveness. Unfortunately, these challenges took a toll on Dominic's and it eventually had to close its doors. It serves as a reminder that even beloved businesses can face difficulties if they don't adapt and address their problems in a changing world. Food Fair. Food Fair stores were mainly located in the eastern part of the country. People loved shopping there because it offered quality groceries and a wide variety of products. It was a trusted name for families to get their daily essentials. However, as time went on, Food Fair faced some challenges. In the 1980s, they made a big decision to rebrand themselves as Pantry Pride. This change was due to a desire to refresh their image and remain competitive in the evolving grocery industry. So while Food Fair may have changed its name to Pantry Pride, the memories of its heyday and the role it played in many families' lives remain a cherished part of our history. It's a reminder that even beloved stores must adapt to the changing times. Kohl's. Kohl's was a popular grocery store chain with multiple branches across Wisconsin. It was known for its commitment to quality and affordability. People loved it because it was a one-stop shop for all their grocery needs. Shopping at Kohl's was a unique experience. The stores were well organized and they had a wide variety of fresh produce, meats, and other groceries. What set Kohl's apart was its dedication to customer service. The staff was friendly and you could always count on them for assistance. However, in 1983, Kohl's was bought by Lucky Stores, a large grocery chain. This change didn't quite capture the essence of the original Kohl's, and some customers missed the personal touch that had made it so special. As the years went by, Kohl's faced increased competition from other grocery chains, and it became challenging to keep up. Sadly, in 2003, all the Kohl's stores had to close their doors. Grand Union. Back in the day, Grand Union was quite popular with hundreds of stores all over the eastern United States. Each Grand Union store was uniquely
carefully designed and many were known for their distinct red and white color scheme. The architecture was charming and the stores were often spacious and well organized, making shopping a delightful experience. Now, what made Grand Union even more special was that some of its stores had cafes and pharmacies inside. This was quite unique for its time. People not only shopped for groceries, but also enjoyed a meal or picked up their prescriptions all in one place. Unfortunately, as the years went by, Grand Union faced some financial difficulties, the competition in the grocery industry grew fierce, and their company struggled to adapt. In 2000, Grand Union had to file for bankruptcy due to mounting debts and financial challenges. However, there's a silver lining to this story. Even though Grand Union faced tough times, it was eventually acquired by Topps Friendly Markets, another grocery chain. Topps Friendly Markets recognized the value of Grand Union and tried to continue its legacy. Keyword, tried, as the company would shut down the brand and a year after acquiring it. So while Grand Union may have faced its share of challenges, it's a reminder that even in difficult times, businesses can find a way to keep going. And the memories of shopping at Grand Union with its charming stores and unique offerings will always hold a special place in the hearts of those who remember it fondly. Jitney Jungle. It all began with a unique self-service store design back in the early 20th century. Jitney Jungle was ahead of its time. Instead of relying on clerks to fetch your groceries, customers could stroll through the aisles and pick what they wanted themselves. This is a new concept and made shopping more convenient. But Jitney Jungle didn't stop there. In the 1970s, it transformed into something even bigger, a discount mega market. These stores were massive and offered a wide variety of products at low prices. People loved the idea of one-stop shopping and Jitney Jungle became a popular place for families to stock up on everything they needed. However, as time went on, Jitney Jungle faced challenges. The grocery business was changing and the competition was fierce. In 2000, Jitney Jungle was absorbed by another grocery store chain called Winn-Dixie. While Jitney Jungle may not be around anymore, its legacy lives on in the hearts of those who remember the excitement of self-service shopping and the thrill of finding great deals in those big mega markets. It's a reminder that even beloved businesses can change and adapt to the times. Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride quickly became known for its own branded products, offering a wide range of grocery items. It gained popularity among families for its quality products and affordability. Shoppers trusted the Pantry Pride brand for their everyday needs. However, as the 1980s rolled around, Pantry Pride faced financial difficulties. It struggled to keep up with the ever-changing grocery market and fierce competition. These challenges took a toll on the store's financial health. Eventually, Pantry Pride had to make a tough decision due to its financial woes. In a bid to find stability, they made the choice to sell their brand to McAndrews and Forbes Acquisition Corporation. This marked the end of Pantry Pride as an independent grocery store. So, my dear ones, Pantry Pride's story serves as a reminder that even well-loved businesses can face tough times. While the grocery store itself may have disappeared, the legacy of its once-trusted private label products lives on in the memories of those who shop there. It's a testament to the ever-changing nature of the business world. Wald Baums. Wald Baums was quite a prominent chain with numerous branches across the New York City metropolitan area. For a remarkable 115 years, Wald Baums served communities with quality groceries and friendly service. People trusted the brand for their fresh produce, meats, and a wide range of household items. However, in 1986, Wald Baums' long and storied history took a turn when it was purchased by the Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company, ANP. 
This marked the end of an era for Waldbaum's as an independent grocery chain. While Waldbaum's may no longer be part of our daily lives, it's remembered fondly by many for its role in providing groceries and sustenance to countless families throughout its long history. And there you go. So which of these stores do you remember shopping at in the past? Let me know if I missed any in the comments section and while you're at it, consider subscribing before heading on out. Until next time.